It's the turn of the army on day four of the budget defense sessions as the National Assembly Joint Committee on Army converge for the presentation of their 2024 budget proposal. The session begins with a minute silence for victims of the Kaduna accidental bombing. May the souls of the departed rest in perfect peace. Amen. What happened in Tudumbiri, Igabi, local government area of Kaduna State on 3rd of December this year was an error that the leadership and every person of the Nigerian Army regrets. And we are working to ensure that do that does not repeat itself going forward. It could be human error, it could be system error. But I want to assure Nigerians that an investigation has already been, uh, is ongoing, which has been uh, set up by the Chief of Army Staff as well as uh, our amiable President. While presenting the 2024 budget proposal of the Nigerian Army, the Chief of Army Staff makes a request. Without mincing words, that the expansion of the Army has continued to impact significantly on the human resources and lean finances available to the Army High Command. This, therefore, calls for a review of the current envelope budgeting system. The envelope system leads to inadequate funding of the Nigerian Army for the performance of its constitutional duties. Details of the budget's proposals are discussed behind closed doors, which last several hours, after which the Joint Committee promised to look into their request. At another session with the Nigerian Correctional Service, members of the Joint Committee on Interior frowned at the cost of feeding animals over humans at the center. How much did you spend last year feeding dogs? We have 800 per dog per day. And we have 900 dogs. Multiply by 365. According to you, you feed that innocent that who is presumed innocent with 750 naira a day at 250 naira per meal. And then a dog, you know, you feed the dog with at least 800 naira a day. So a dog is better fed in Nigeria prison than an innocent Nigeria who is held. It's a policy issue, whether it is the intention of government to, to appropriate more money to feed animals that to feed human beings. Officials of the Correctional Service therefore sought the assistance of the National Assembly to approve the increment for feeding of inmates totaling 81,354 nationwide, while over 53,000 are awaiting trial. The National Assembly at some of the presentations extended support to agencies like NAPTIP owing to the abysmal budgetary allocations as they continue with the defense sessions. From the National Assembly, Gloria Umezuke, Channels Television News.